Hey what's up guys, it's Exist here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install DS for Windows. This application allows you to use your PlayStation 4 controller on the PC. As it's a Microsoft, you know, made Windows and stuff like that, you would use an Xbox One controller, Xbox 360 controller. So PS4 controllers don't really work, but with DS for Windows that fix that. So what you want to do, in the description you'll have two links, there's 7-zip if you need uh, something like WinRAR 7-zip, you know, to open up the the zip file, you'll need something like this. If you ha already have that, usually people already do, and I think Windows have it installed anyway. You can forget about that. We got DS for Windows. You'll press there, and you'll have the zip file. What you want to do is have this open. You want to go to do this PC. Your main storage, whatever storage you want to use, go to program files and just drag and drop in there. Okay. So what you can do, you can right click here, send to desktop, already have it. But at least all these files are out of the way and all you have is the shortcut. So open up DS for Windows. This should come up. Something else might pop up first, just pick up data or program files, doesn't make a difference. For wired controllers, or if you don't have Bluetooth on your PC, you can just put in the charge cable into the computer and it should automatically connect. Um, but with wireless Bluetooth, we're going to go to Bluetooth and other device settings. Already have that opened. It some, looks something like this. So what you want to do, right now I'm going to show you how to actually put the controller into pairing mode. So yeah, with the controller you just want to hold share and PlayStation button. And it'll start flashing like that. Device and Bluetooth and it should come up the wireless controller. And there you go, it's connected. Now. Mine, and it should just connect like that, it might come up with a pop-up saying administrator plus yes or no, just press yes. And there we go. So it should be working. On the controller, you can change the colour here, so you'll know if it's working. You can change the colour to anything, and it'll go to orange or whatever. And on the touch screen on the controller, you can actually move the cursor, you can see that connected. Everything should be up and running. So what you want to do is you want to keep Windows, um, DS4 Windows open, it usually goes down to the system tray here. 